in this case, Tylenol and opioids strategically used are going to be critical to getting your best healing out of that injury or fracture or surgery, whatever it is. Just because the alternative, a lot of people are going to say, well, why don't I just take ibuprofen or naproxen or Celebrex or one of the other NSAIDs here? The reality is, as we talked about before, inflammation has a purpose. So chronic inflammation, bad, actually predispose you to injuries like this one. Yeah. But acute inflammation is really, really important. So after exercise or after surgery, if you're dampening that inflammatory response, your body doesn't know quite as well where to heal and the extent to which it should be dedicating healing factors to that area. So if you're about to go through PT and just had a surgery, so you're already healing at the bone level, of course, if you take a bunch of anti-inflammatories, your body's like, yeah, something's wrong here. I just don't know exactly where. And I'm going to kind of send them healing there. Whereas if you're taking Tylenol, which is not anti-inflammatory, I usually have my patients doing automatically around the clock, doesn't matter what you're doing, three times a day, 650 to 1,000 milligrams. And then you can use opioids before therapies just so you can get the most out of therapy. In those cases, when you're closely monitored, as long as you don't have a history of substance use disorder or you know some other major trauma that predisposes you to it, even then with supervision, it's still appropriate in a lot of cases then we use these pain meds and just have a tapering plan in place ahead of time. So we say by week two, you should be on X, by week three, it should be down to here. And by doing that, you maximize therapy benefit. You, you maximize your body's response to it, of course. Your participation is not hindered by pain. You're sleeping better at nighttime, so you're recovering better. And as far as risk benefit goes, that's when the benefits outweigh the risks for most people.